What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can give yourself admin on your own private Valheim server and a couple of commands that you can run. Now, of course, this video is going to be nice and quick. If you don't already have a dedicated server and you'd like one for free, check the description down below for a video on how to set up port forward and get your friends to play on your own private Valheim server for completely free. I, of course, have mine already set up, so I have all of these server files over here. I have it installed through Steam, so I can also locate it over here. Right click, manage, browse local files to get back to this folder. So let's go ahead and give ourselves admin. How do we do that? Well, first of all, your server will need to be running. So start up your server as we'll need our client ID from the server. So with that starting up, I'll also open up my Steam server list and connect to my server as soon as it becomes available. So I'll go ahead and join now. Once you connect to your server, look back at the console on your screen and you'll see yourself connecting. Got handshake from seven blah blah blah. This is your Steam ID. Simply select it and copy this. Close out of the game and you can close out of your server too. Now copy the link in the description down below. Hold start, press R and you'll have the run dialog box. Paste this into that. User profile, app data, local low. Hit OK. Open up the Iron Gate folder, Valheim and then open adminlist.txt. Simply select the next line and paste in your Steam ID that we copied from the launcher. Save this file, close it, and you can close out of the config directory here. All we have to do is launch up your server by running the server's batch file. Again, if you'd like to know how to set up your own server, check the description down below. Next up, I'll be firing up Valheim by joining our server. So I'll wait for it to come online and then I'll join it. And then enter the password again. And now we're successfully on our server. Let's hit F5 and let's try say banned to show a list of banned players. As you can see, it worked. We weren't given a complaint about not having admin. Cool, so I could hypothetically type kick Tyler and I would kick myself from the game. But of course, that didn't happen because that's, well, me. <laughs> Let's hit F5, what else can we run? Well, we can type in help and we'll get a list of commands here. Of course, there's not too much that you can do currently, but it's something that you can do. But besides that, that's basically it for this video. You now have admin on your server and you're able to do pretty much anything an admin would be able to do. Currently, there's not too much as the game's still pretty early in development, but there's that. Anyways, make sure to check the description down below for some more videos if you're curious on other content that I may have. Thank you for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.